For the first time, active Reynoldsburg police officers are going on the record about what they call a toxic work environment. Yeah, this is a story NBC4 investigates Jamie Ostroff has first reported on in November. This was when the department was audited, and she's been following the story ever since. Yes, and remember, this audit was paid for by the city of Reynoldsburg to assess the work environment, and it uncovered concerns about retaliation, unequal discipline, and a fear to speak up. And speaking of which, these officers knew the risks of coming forward to talk about their workplace, but they felt they had to let their community know in their own words what is going on. Still, they would only speak to me on the record under the condition that I changed the sound of their voices. After I spoke with Reynoldsburg Police Chief Curtis Baker last month about claims of poor morale. So in your opinion, are things going all right? Well, anytime you have unhappy people, you want to try to make it a workplace that people like. Uh, we will continue to do that. Just as you hear feedback from people that have negative opinions, we have many within the agency that are extremely happy with the way things are going. Um, so we're going to focus on that. Six officers decided it was time to come forward. And that's why we're here with you, because we saw you actually pressed them. The officers agreed to go on the record on the conditions that I only record audio and that I alter their voices. They're concerned about retaliation, a pervasive issue among others documented in this 2022 audit conducted by a company called Pradco. The officers I spoke with say they all participated. That was a waste of time and money and all of our energy. They didn't want to have any specific incidents now. Specifics were given and they generalized as much as they could to make that as bland as possible to get the city's answer of what they wanted was, you got some issues, but it's really not that bad. No, it's bad. The officers tell me after the audit report was released on November 8th. He was silent for about two weeks after that. And, and, I, and I was just waiting for something like, this report is here, Chief. Make a comment to us, lead us. They say the first comment came in the Chief's orders of the day on November 23rd two days after our story about the audit. I am sorry you all have to weather another storm of negative attention to the agency, Baker wrote. I anticipated these events long ago as transition and change is always difficult for people. Keep doing the great work you do each day. You can't tell us like I'm gonna do my best yeah. to improve morale and lead this department. After the audit was released, Mayor Joe Begany told me the department started a shared document where police employees can anonymously submit complaints. The officers take issue with that approach. Yeah, it says last modified by. Yeah, it's not anonymous at all. It just wasn't a viable solution to the chief's the problem with the chief. Telling me their trust in leadership has only further eroded since the audit. He knows there's a morale issue. He just says that it's not his problem and it's on us to fix it. After Chief Baker told me. Yeah, you have a few that will say that. There's always going to be employees that are not happy. Um, you'll have that in any workplace. You probably have that in your workplace. The officers had this response. And he's absolutely right. There are bound to be a few people. Here are a few, a handful but people that are happy and don't agree to change and everything like that. I understand that. But when you have the majority of people looking at there's a problem, then there's a problem. You're, you're comfortable saying a majority. Oh, yes. Yeah. Chief Baker did not respond to my quest for comment for the story.